Eagle Island State Park is undergoing the most sweeping changes in its history. I'm senior reporter Roland Barris, and the removal of this popular old water slide is just the very beginning. The gentle peace of Eagle Island State Park is a big attraction for people of all ages. We love coming here. We call it the fortress because when we come here, it's like a place where we don't have to think about anything else in the world, right? But if there's one constant in the world, it's change. And Eagle Island is getting its share. We haven't seen a building boom like this since the 80s. First, the old water slide that's been closed for the past year is now overgrown, and it's going away. The reason it closed was it's simply worn out after 40 years. Quintana said the public will be consulted on what should happen with the hill, which is already home to a successful sledding operation that could be expanded. Gateway Parks is our concessionaire for both the, uh, the tubing hill, um, but also now for the zip line. Gateway owner Ryan Neptune told me he'd welcome the extra space for sledding. Meanwhile, a good portion of the 550-acre park is under construction for 50 RV camping sites, complete with municipal water and sewer. This is going to be a very uh, popular kind of gateway to Idaho. People coming in here, they might be moving. The spots will be limited to 14-day stays, and the traffic it brings could be huge for businesses nearby like Mel Shade's long-running fruit stand. It'd be good for any businesses in Eagle out here. Those people are... They'll go out and shop for their things they you want. You might have to expand. And <laughs> I'm getting too old for that. <laughs> Quintana says Eagle Island gets 600,000 visitors a year. This is one of our top parks. And the hope is that all the changes will make it more popular than ever. I am literally standing on a huge pile of rock and sand that was excavated from right over there. That's where they created a huge new pond for Eagle Island State Park, a new water feature. And then you can see down the way here, this is the main entrance to the park. It's still under construction, and it leads right up to what may be one of the largest roundabouts in the state of Idaho. That one right there is meant to handle all the RVs that will be coming in to camp later this year. It's a huge project and still lots of work to be done at Eagle Island State Park. I'm senior reporter Roland Barris, Idaho News 6.